So today I'll be unboxing and having a quick look at a Corsair power supply. It's not particularly new or particularly exciting from like a from a feature standpoint, but what it is, is it's a rock solid power supply at a good price. I mean, okay, so yeah, like I said, it's not glamorous, but that's what Corsair is known for. They're known for delivering solid power supplies that, you know, aren't particularly flashy looking or, you know, have a bunch of, you know, you know stuff they made up on the front, okay? It's a good power supply at a good price, and I've totally run out of things to say already. Look at that. Okay, so here's the connectors. You got a 24-pin connector. You've got an 8-pin EPS connector, four PCI Express 6 plus 2-pin connectors, eight SATA, eight Molex, and two floppy. Just the right mix for a 750-watt power supply, considering what you'd be plugging into it. Then on the other side of the box, you've got the general specs. So this is a single 12-volt rail power supply. So that's a 60-amp 12-volt rail. A lot of people like to see that and it's a no-nonsense sort of approach. In terms of noise level you can see that the decibels are rated on a curve. You can check out these graphs on Corsair.com as well. Here's your efficiency graph. So this is not 80 plus certified as far as the box is concerned. I had thought it was. It has a five-year warranty from Corsair and let's get to what's inside the box. So first you got your user's manual. Okay, so that includes some general information about the unit itself. And then you've got your packing foam. Okay, it comes in a nice little velvety bag. That's kind of a nice touch. Okay, we'll get to the power supply unit itself in just a moment here though. You've got just a standard three prong power connector. You've got some cable ties for organizing your cables because this is a non-modular unit. Then you have a Powered by Corsair sticker and four black screws to attach the power supply to your case. Now let's get this velvet bag open. And then inside there you'll find a plastic bag, and inside the plastic bag you will find the TX750 watt power supply. So it has a 135 millimeter cooling fan, and you can kind of see the guts of the unit itself in there. On each side it has TX750 watt and kind of a orangey, orangey colored logo. Then on the top, you're going to find your general specs again, which are also on the side of the box. And at the back, you see just your on-off switch, power plug, and then a honeycomb grill. Now, the connectors themselves, one thing that Corsair does, again, it's part of their, you know, sort of no-nonsense approach, is they've always got reasonably long cables attached to their power supplies. So every one of these cables is going to be nice and long, so that means you could potentially use it in an 800D case, which I'm sitting next to a, a skid of. Okay, so the connectors, as I outlined before, we have, da -da 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 -da. where are all my PCI Express? We've got four six plus two pin PCI Express, we've got an eight pin EPS, bunch of Molex, bunch of SATA, and the cameraman's telling me we're running out of time. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the TX750 watt.